Hello friends, welcome back to Get Practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of plastic tray in Autodesk Inventor software. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now from here take a 2D sketch and first select the exit plane. This will be the top plane, rotate. Here also you can see the top view. Now go to rectangle command. Take a two point center rectangle, select the center point. Now go to dimensions. Here the vertical dimension will be of 200 mm and the width will be of 400 mm. Okay. Now finish sketch, zoom out. Go to extrude command. Here take extrude of 100 mm. So here we will take one direction extrude. So direction one will be active. Now go to more. We want a draft or taper. So here we will give an angle of 10 degree. So it will expand the profile outside. From side this will look like this. So here it is a 400 mm. Now it is 10 degree expansion. Okay. Now press OK. Now we will select the corners for fillet. So go to fillet. Here take a fillet radius of 40 mm. Go to edge selection. Select all the four edges first, second, third, and rotate the profile for fourth edge. Select fourth. Apply. Now exit from fillet. Now we will make this cut profile okay from front view it will look like this we will make this cut profile so for cut profile go to origin go to the front view xy plane selection go to create sketch you can take it as back or front okay now go to line command make a line profile over here till here and join it to see the profile more clearly go to view from here select the view visual style change it to wireframe now you can be able to see the sketch properly go to sketch take a vertical constraint select the center point and select center point of this profile and center point here and center point so this will be completely aligned. Go to dimension. This bottom dimension will be 250 mm. Okay. And the angle here will be of 120 degree. And this also 120. Okay. It is taking it by default. Now from bottom, the distance will be of 80 mm. And the height of this profile will be of 50 mm. Okay. Now escape. So this will be the complete profile. Select this, make it construction. Now finish sketch and go to extrude command. Take here cut. Take here symmetric cut. Go to view, visual style, change it to shaded edges. Now we want a through cut. So from here, select all, so it will cut complete profile and OK. OK, now go to home. Now select this corner edge, go to fillet. Take here a fillet radius of 20 mm. Go to edge selection once again. Select this corner, rotate the profile. Select this corner and this corner and apply ok exit now go to home again go to 3d model take here the shell command to make this profile hollow select the complete top face and here take a thickness of 2 mm the shell will be inside so it will shrink the profile to inside and 2 mm will be left 
okay and press okay now you have completed till here this cut home now we will make this outer flange profile go to part 2 for flange profile from here go to 3d sketch and go to include geometry and select the inside face inside edge one by one select complete profile okay now select here also here this and this profile one by one we will take and these are the last profiles this and this so complete profile will be taken of inner edge okay zoom out now finish sketch we only want this profile now from here go to 2d sketch and select the xy plane go to view change the visual style to wireframe and here go to sketch again and take line command so we'll start the line from inside rotate it from here we will select the center point okay this green point will be center point okay now escape go to dimension give this dimension as 25 mm okay escape now go to front view here you can see the profile properly go to line along this profile will make one line now make a horizontal line and join till here escape go to dimension and give this height as 5 mm now finish sketch now go to the sweep command and this profile will be selected for path select this 3d path okay go to view visual style shaded edges so this will be the profile which will be made and okay so this will be the flange profile outside now we'll use the fillet command to make it round so go to 3d model take fillet and here take fillet here okay off we will take here 2.5 and bottom also 2.5 okay and apply take radius of 5 mm go to edge selection and select this inner edge okay and apply exit now go to fill it once again here take a fillet radius of 15 go to edge selection and select this bottom edge apply similarly we will do here here also we will take a fillet of 15 and apply exit so this profile will look like this from outside and from inside like this okay. now to make the whole patterns we will start from the base go to top view rotate so we will make this pattern first so go to part 2 now select this face go to create sketch from here take a two point center rectangle and make a rectangle profile over here go to dimension give this a width of 20 and a height also of 20m go to horizontal constraint select this point and this center point ok now go to dimension from this radius this corner edge will be at 7 mm escape ok now go to rectangular pattern select this complete profile go to direction 1 for direction 1 select this top edge of rectangle now here we will take a count of 14 and the center to center distance of 
26 okay so this will be from side it will be 7 okay so this will be the profile with direction one and okay now go to rectangular pattern once again select this complete profile go to direction one now select this profile for top and bottom here we will take a count of 4 and the center to center distance will be of 24 ok similarly we will do this side so go to direction 2 select this once again here flip the direction center to center distance of 24 and here the count will be of 4 ok so this will be the second pattern and ok ok so this will be the whole pattern profile now finish sketch go to extrude command go to top view select this complete profile ok go to home now it is extruding upward so we will take a cut so it will cut the profiles but here we don't want to cut this corner profiles so go to profile selection press control and select this corner profiles and uncheck them this and this ok now press ok so these corner profiles will be left and these middle profiles will be cut go to home now we will work on this face we are completed with this top. Now we will go to front, go to front view. Now we will cut these profiles. Okay. Go to part 2. Go to 2D sketch and select the XY plane. This will be the front plane. Here also. Now go to view, visual style, go to wireframe. As we are working in center of the part. So we will change the view to wireframe. Go to sketch. Here go to two point rectangle. Make a rectangle profile. Go to dimension. Here the height of this rectangle will be of 5 mm. And the width of 10 mm. Ok. And escape. Now drag this upward and this side and from here drag this side ok now go to dimension from this radius edge this will be at a distance of 5 mm and from this line over here also 5 mm ok <clears throat> now go to rectangular pattern once again select this complete profile go to geometry and select this profile for giving the direction or vector here we will take a count of 21 ok and the center to center distance here will be of 15 mm or the gap you can say of 15 mm so it will look like this <coughs> and press ok now go to rectangular pattern once again here select this complete profile go to direction 1 and now select this vertical profile flip the direction here the gap will be of 10 mm and the count will be of 5 ok so this will be the rectangular pattern 2 and ok by doing this in sketching you uh, will decrease the number of features as you can see in sketching we have done all this so the number of features here will not increase now finish go to extrude select this complete profile now here take cut and take symmetric cut go to view visual style go to shaded edges here you can see it is not able to reach the profiles so from here we will select all so it will cut 
this profile and this profile and okay <clears throat> okay go to front view so this will be the cut profile go to home now we'll make this corner profile so for corner we'll select the exit plane why is it plane go to create sketch so this will be the right view and the left view go to 2d sketch okay you have taken the 2d sketch go to rectangle profile go to view visual style shaded edges here make a rectangle profile go to sketch dimension height of 5 mm and this width of 10 mm okay now the height from this edge will be 5 mm and from this line the distance of 5 mm okay zoom out to see all the dimensions drag this inside okay so this will be the gap will be 5 and from here and 10 and 5 now go to rectangular pattern select this rectangle go to direction 1 select this edge now here we will take a count of 9 and the center to center gap as 13 mm ok press ok now go to rectangular pattern once again select this complete profile go to direction 1 select this line the vertical line flip the direction here take a count of 8 zoom out ok so it will come till here the gap will be 10 mm and ok now finish sketch go to visual style shaded edges go to 3d model extrude complete profile selection ok now take symmetric and here take all ok so it will extend till here and take here cut so it will cut the profiles and press ok so this will be side profile cut ok I can see go to home now from here we will change the color we will take it as blue wall paint glossy okay. so this will be the complete file so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a plastic tray in Autodesk in enter I hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you